Hey guys, welcome back to another disc golf video. My name is Michael Holt. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my videos. I hope that y'all enjoy. Uh, we are playing out at Scrapyard or Idlewild Park in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, and I am currently two down. The last time that I played here, I finished five down and that was my first thousand rated round. Uh, and we beat that today. So we're only two down. So we got lots of birdies in this back nine for you guys to see. I felt dialed. My mid ranges were on point. I was making really good shots. Can't wait to show this to you guys and share it with y'all. Um, I feel like I'm learning a lot and hopefully, uh, I can share some of that with y'all. So let's go ahead and get into the back nine. All right, throw in our felon here on a sidearm flex line. Uh, you can throw this whole backhand with a little flip up. But I've been feeling good with the felon, so we push it out there on a little bit of Anheuser. A little low. Ideally, you want to throw it a little bit higher. Um, this left us at about 35 feet or so, a little bit outside of the circle. You guys can see me really, like, calm myself down. Before I get up to a putt, I always take a deep breath, close my eyes, and focus in, try and clear my head um, so that I can make sure that I'm as focused as possible. Um, so about 35 feet here, throw it up and knock it down. Feeling really, really good with my putt this round. Um, I've been working on putting a little more nose up as well, which has been helping us out a lot. Um, so I hate this hole, as you guys know, but not when I throw the bounty. Throwing the bounty right out there, dead straight down the gap. Feeling really good with the bounty lately. Um, and just my foot placement and everything. Uh, it's, it's been feeling solid. Uh, and so we just knock this putt down and that is now going to put us at, uh, wow, four down. So we were at two down. We're now currently at four down. This hole, normally I throw a diamond on, but I was feeling good with the bounty and that was the wrong decision. <laughs> uh, knocking it down, uh, into the fairway there, not in the best spot. Uh, but we take our harp, which we've also been feeling kind of dialed with and knock it up within, I don't know, two feet. Really, really good approach shot right there. Really solid approach disc as well. Uh, no wonder Ricky loves it so much. Um, and that's one of my Michael Holt ones as well. If you guys are interested in those, you can get that at ARGG.shop. So watch this, guys. This is one of the harder holes on the course. For those of you who have played this, you know how hard it is to get a birdie on this hole. I'm really focusing on throwing my mid-range and walking towards the top left. So you can see I'm starting in the bottom right of the tee pad and walking towards the top left, which is going to help me hit that gap. Um, so I throw the, uh, bounty there. That's the prime one flips up just a little bit. I was like, okay, that looks good. And, uh, I'm not too sure where it landed, Are you Serious? but yeah, I'm serious, man. Landing right there. Y'all starting off with three birdies. So already, uh, five down, uh, started off the round at two down already five down. This is a pretty tough hole as well. For those of you who have played it. Um, you got to throw, I mean, you can pump it straight if you're good enough. I'm not. So I hyzer flip my stag, which is just a little bit too beat in. Now I hit the gap, it pops out and it just goes like really far right. Um, so a little bit frustrated with that needed to throw it higher so that it didn't turn as far. Right. Uh, take my lore disc, uh, justice right there, uh, and pump that out, get that to about 10 feet. Again, always trying to practice, always trying to putt too, because uh, it's better to putt out on the course than it is in your backyard or somewhere like that where it's consistent. Um, so this hole, throwing that bounty again, y'all, this is a very, very tight turnover. Normally you can throw a sidearm or the turnover, obviously. A very, very tight turnover line here. Throwing that bounty again, and it just, oh gosh, it's pretty, man. And that one's getting understable. Uh, honestly, that probably flew better than the SPZ, which I just replaced with this disc. Um, and so you can see how turned over it was, putting us at a little inside circle's edge there, throwing it out on a hyzer around this really skinny tree. The skinny tree right here that I hit was in the way. Uh, and so I threw to the right side of that and we knocked it down. So that's going to take us down to six down, ladies and gentlemen. This hole, you want to throw a big rimmed driver so you can get a good skip down to the basket, throw in my Raider. Pumping it out there, stands up just a little, you can see right there, then continues to carry down. I know it's in a good spot, because um, I didn't hear it hit any trees or anything. Feeling dialed, once again. Um, putting us 10 feet from the basket there, pretty easy. Uh, another one of my lore discs, absolutely love it, guys. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good right now. And what I'm doing is trying to plant my right foot in 
uh, that top left of the tee pad whenever I'm throwing backhand. Really trying to step across my body so that it makes me commit to my line um, and also makes me not hit right. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I've been doing that. I've been hitting right lately, and that's been kind of frustrating. Uh, so here we're going to try and throw another flex line with our uh, felon. This is our lore felon. Absolutely love this disc. It's super beat in, and because it's super beat in, uh, we turn it over a little bit too much here. It doesn't come back, hits a tree, uh, and drops down in the middle. Uh, so what do I do? I mean, come on. You know me. I love scrambling. We go through the woods. Yeah. We tag it through a little gap that I saw right there, getting it down to the fairway. Super clutch shot right there. Feeling good, feeling dialed like I've been saying. Um, and then again, <clears throat> throwing the bounty here. Now, normally I don't throw these on sidearm, but I'm working on it, okay? So throwing this here, it's a little wobbly and a little understable. So I need to release it flatter. Um, so I throw the other one here, I throw the burst one here, uh, and we try and knock it out a little bit flatter and also aim a little bit more to the right. Uh, and you can see how that one kind of pans out as it gets up there. That's the shot that we wanted. Um, but both of them end up being, uh, pars. So six down, wait, no, seven down here, right? Yeah. Cause we got to seven down on that last hole. Um, so seven down right now, which is nuts. 17 taking that par. Uh, and then 18 here. Uh, I threw a couple here because I wanted to show you guys some stuff. So normally my play is throwing this diamond like this. Uh, this was a lightweight one. I needed to throw a heavyweight one. Uh, it wouldn't have turned over as much. And I mean, it would have turned over, but it would have stabled out at the end and it would have been parked. Uh, that one puts us at about 30 uh, or so. Um, throwing the bounty here. And my goodness, like, just look at it. Just look at it fly. Just look, that's my Tori Series disc, y'all. If I could have a Tori Series disc, it would be the Bounty, especially with how dialed I'm getting with it. Like, that one ends up being about 15 feet away. This one, uh, since it is in that more understable burst plastic, ends up going a little bit too far right. So I'm working on my angle control with those, but I'm excited. I'm excited to have a mid-range that I know and that I know I can throw on angles and that I know I can achieve what I need to, whether it's on hyzer, anhyzer, whatever. Um... So probably at about 30, 35 here, circle's edge, kind of rubbed up against this tree. Not the most comfortable putting position to be in, um, but we're seven down right now, and I'm looking for eight. I'm looking for the elusive eight. Uh, we put it up on a little bit of hyzer like we normally do, pans out, and boom, hits the pole. Didn't aim high enough. I'm shooting uphill, putting uphill, but I didn't account for that. So we account for it, and we drain it. Um, so that would have been nasty. Such a good putt right there. Uh, it's good to know that I've got it. Uh, just got to continue practicing, uh, thinking about everything that's going on in the scenario. And then I'm going to walk over to where that pink bounty was. You guys can see it was right there. Super, super solid, easy stuff. Hope that you guys enjoyed this round, man, seven down out here. Good score. Definitely probably like 10, 20, 10, 30, something like that. Thank you guys for watching. I love y'all. See you in the next one. Peace out.